Oh, good evening and many thanks indeed for your time. My name is John Hughes and welcome to Hot Issues. Tonight, we will take a look at a very, very important commodity that all of us use in our homes, the LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. I've been joined by two gentlemen who play a very uh, important role in that particular sector. Dan Kanamor is the executive director of COPEC and also Gabi Kumi is the vice chairman, LPG Marketing Companies Association of Ghana. Tonight, we'll talk about the state of LPG gas down or LPG downstream. Now, downstream includes you and I, the final users of it. We'll talk about quality. We'll talk about the reach and spread, the penetration. We'll talk about pricing. We'll talk about how it affects you. And we'll talk about the dangers that you've been exposed to. Mind you, coronavirus has a devastated nearly everything. So is the price going up or is it coming down? Well, let's meet our, our guests. Gentlemen, good evening. And many thanks indeed for your time. Duncan, let me start with you. Uh, you've been very vociferous on this very front. How has Corona affected your industry? Johnny, good evening. Good evening to your <coughs> viewers. Uh, corona, at the outset, mm. we didn't anticipate the kind of devastating effect it was going to have. But mm. if you do speak to operators downstream, mm -hmm. uh, the understanding you get is that their volumes have shrunk completely. Mm. Uh, for people who were doing probably 600, 700,000 per some of the stations, you will now struggle to do two, 300,000 because economic activity had slowed down. Mm -hmm. At the height of the lockdowns, uh, their volumes had dropped completely. Mm -hmm. The only vehicles or machines that you found moving were the ones you call the essential ones. Mm -hmm. And so they are still reeling under a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. In the face of all of this, we've still been able to get some significant reductions at the pumps mm. for Ghanaians. Okay. And that for us has been very positive. Just this morning, uh, Copec in-house were discussing the overall benefits Ghanaians are deriving from an efficient downstream. Mm. Uh, and one key observation which my team is actually working on currently <coughs> has to do with even the number of vehicles currently on our roads uh, that are smoking, mm -hmm. you know, he mm -hmm. that too, because of the poor nature of uh, fuels mm -hmm. on our market, mm -hmm. if you counted 10 vehicles, you find <coughs> three, four, five that had exhaust fumes badly. That's right. Uh, now it's difficult to count two in every 10. It means that there's some improvement downstream, but... Okay there's still a little bit more mm. to be done. And that is why we are here this evening. Okay, Kumi, you tell me, uh, you sell this. <clears throat> so let, let's hear your initial comments about how this has affected you. Duncan alludes to the fact that the volumes have reduced because economic activity has been affected. Are, will you say the same song? Uh, sure. I mean, um, just to buttress his point, I mean, uh, from the lockdown, mm -hmm. I mean, things slowed down very, very drastically and dramatically. Um, <laughs> uh, even, though, even though we have seen some improvement in domestic consumption, mm. because, uh, you know, children are home now and you need to do a lot of cooking. Mm. But when you talk about industrial cons consumption, mm. Uh, all the factories that use the LPG are now, have now slowed down. And that's where you the, get your bigger chunk of cash. Exactly. Okay. That's where we get and the vehicles. Vehicular movement has also slowed down considerably. Mm -hmm. So this has, overall, our sales have, have dropped to about 30% okay. uh, post-COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, we, we are just lucky mm -hmm. because uh, uh, we are lucky that we are still in operation. There are other industries that have shut down completely. So we will still give thanks to God and, 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 and uh, see how things are, go. Are you suggesting to me that you have not asked some of your staff to go home? Is that the suggestion <laughs> I'm getting for you? Yes. Um, I mean, definitely, this, this is uh, an industry that, that thrives in volumes. Mm. Once you are not making the required volumes, mm -hmm. you don't expect to keep. Uh, the so numbers. you have asked people to go home. Oh yes, we uh, some of us have asked. Uh, what some, what some volumes people. of people since we are talking about oh, volumes? Oh, ten percent of mm -hmm. our workers have been asked to go home, and if things don't improve, we are going forward. You know, we can we can absorb the. Uh, 
we, we can absorb the pressure for some time. Uh, up but to what time? <laughs> <laughs> up to what time? That's, that's, the, that's a concern. Because that's, if 10% have gone, that's, that's, another that's, 10 could go, another 10. That one, that's, I can't, that's not I, sounding uh, good. I can't really tell. But, you know, it's all boils down to the fact that we have to make the product more affordable. Okay. So that we can maintain our volumes. Okay. You know, this is uh, a product with an elastic demand. Mm. The, the more you, you try to re reduce prices, the more you attract a lot of people into the consumption net, okay. and the more you are able to keep your, 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 your staff strength. Okay. So once the, pro the, the price keep going up, mm. uh, uh, your volumes will keep dropping. Mm. And, and that coupled with COVID-19, mm. it means that um, once your volumes are shrinking, mm. you will not have the capacity to maintain all your labor force, okay. you may eventually have to. Duncan, let's draw, more. let's draw the fine line between quality and pricing. He's just spoken about quality. So let's start from quality uh, or pricing. Let's start from pricing. Now, you raised a red flag when government decided that let's uh, put some taxes on this LPG that every home needs to use. And we're talking about deforestation and blah, blah, blah. Have you been satisfied with how government has gone about pricing? of this product, first of all? Um, government has done its best. Mm. Uh, you need to be frank and fair to government when you, in similar vein, when government also decides to part or mm. add more taxes, uh, we will be forced to discuss them. LPG, like my brother had indicated, has mm. a certain elastic demand. Okay. And so once it's affordable, you will find a lot more people tilting towards that Mm -hmm. Once you begin to increase prices through taxation, mm -hmm. then you'll be scaring away potential clients or consumers who would have wanted to buy 10 cities or mm -hmm. 5 cities. Once they hear that prices have gone up, uh, you push them off. Mm -hmm. And so when we decided to mm -hmm. introduce surprisingly a certain 13.5 pesos mm -hmm. uh, in the name of cylinder recirculation. Which you kicked against. Uh, we needed to <coughs> because at the end of the day, what it meant for the average consumer mm. who would go for the regular 14.5 kg bottle mm -hmm. was some additional two cities and some pesos. And so now that that has been reversed, it means that any time you fill your gas bottle, you'll be saving that two cities and some few pesos. But that affects in, quality? No. You see, it shouldn't affect quality. Okay. If you decided that you are going to charge me more, mm. it doesn't mean you are going to increase quality for me. You are charging more because you need some additional revenue for whatever purposes. Okay. And we have questioned whatever the, the policy intentions of additional revenue mm. were. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, uh, you have a government that does listen. Mm. And so once the public raises issues, once the industry also comes in, mm. uh, once we are not satisfied, you will get a certain working behind the scenes to en ensure that the public is not badly inconvenient. Mm. So on that score... I think the government handling has been quite, been quite okay. good. Except that, uh, like Gabi has almost always said, mm -hmm. if they reduce their taxes further, we'll be happy. But we won't come back uh, to that okay, discussion okay. So let, during let, COVID. Let, let, so let's we'll leave that, that one Let's for. have that conversation because people <laughs> have been devastated. I mean, I know private school teachers, for example, people who work in the hospital industry, people who work in many other industries who don't have a salary at this point. Now, they, they must feed. So they will cook with LPG. And in their homes, if you don't have money, you can buy LPGs, a simplicity. Now, if we reduce it further, perhaps they could be able to buy. They won't be thinking about charcoal and logging wood to create fuel with firewood. And so that conversation and about pricing must happen. Johnny, in a few seconds, mm -hmm. what I would say is this. The government has given quite a number of freebies to Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. Water, electricity, mm -hmm. and the 600 million stimulus, mm -hmm. stimulus package, package to right. Uh, the small-scale industries. It would have been very happy for us if the government had also decided that because you would use LPG for domestic mm. and other things, we're going to take off some of the taxes mm. to make it more affordable. Okay. But if the government didn't think it reasonable to do so, mm. it would be unreasonable on our part also mm. to go demanding at this point when government <coughs> has thrown in quite a bit of freebies mm. and then again, government has also lost a considerable amount of revenue. Mind you, the lockdown mm -hmm. that we all experienced, it had a, a big hit on government revenue because the fuel and the LPG that we consume, mm. if you consume per liter per kilogram, mm. you are paying some amount of taxes. That's right. And then there's a lockdown, nobody moves. 
So all the vehicles that would have moved up and down, mm. all the machines that would have worked, mm. they didn't work. So whatever taxes government would have realized on these products, it would lose it. Mm. But that wouldn't be our problem. Okay. Whose problem we, would that be, Mr. Government? That would be the Honorable Finance Minister's headache. Problem. Okay. But then again, for a more sustainable penetration mm. for LPG mm. and for that matter petroleum, we saw during the period that fuel prices came down. Okay. LPG didn't go as much mm. because it was within the same period that the NPA was also seeking to introduce new taxes. That's right. And that didn't make LPG prices go as low as we would have wished. Mm. But overall, we were not in a very good position to now go demanding government remove taxes. Although my brother has mm. been campaigning for that for the past two of years. Of course, he sells it. So. I <laughs> doubt that he would, in the face of COVID and government revenue shrinkage, mm. uh, still go out there Let's, let's ask him that. So I, 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 Gabi, are you sticking by your <laughs> guns or with your guns by asking that we drop a feather? Uh, <laughs> mind you, the conversation has also been about beyond pricing, has been about quality. You're talking about 70% propane in there. And what should the standard, for example, be? And what should the pricing be? Okay, for, for the price, as, as Duncan did indicate, um, we have called on government for the past two years, we have been knocking on the doors of government to mm. take off all the, the taxes on the LPG mm -hmm. to make the product more affordable. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you look at the West Africa sub-region, right. all the country, almost all the countries around us are indeed subsidizing the product. So why not us? So why not us? Are, 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 they, are we, are we mm -hmm. poorer? than countries like La Côte d'Ivoire, like Mali, like mm. Nigeria, who are indeed subsidizing. What are, is, what is causing our price not to go down? Uh, it's, it's, it's the taxes. We, mm. Instead of subsidizing, mm. we have rather have about 20% taxes on the product. Wow. That is why for the past few years, we have been calling for the removal of these taxes mm. to make, even if we cannot subsidize, mm. let's go at full cost recovery. So that the but, if, but that's not realistic to government. Government must make money. It was government that introduced. <laughs> it was the government that you know when we introduced government our, introduced the classes for a reason. Yeah, when we introduced <laughs> LPG in this country, we were subsidizing. Mm. We subsidized to a point when the consumption began to grow mm. and the subsidies began to grow very large. Government took itself off the subsidy and we mm -hmm. went full cost recovery. Because you wanted the <laughs> early adopter to get in. Yes. I mean, yes. laggards will always come in later. Look, but. look, we are, penetration is just around 25%. So even the early adoption and the laggards you are talking, mm. we are not even there yet. Okay. We need to get to about 70, 80% before we talk about laggards who mm. will come in later. Mm. Mm. But we think the penetration is so low. We think there's a lot of things, a lot we can do with the LPG in Ghana. Mm. Our environment is depleting so fast. Mm -hmm. LPG is a product of choice. Globally, consumption of LPG is on the rise. Mm. But in Ghana, LPG consumption is relatively very stagnant. Why? Because of high prices. Just that? Yes. Yes. Because if, mm. you, look at, if you look at before the introduction of these taxes mm. in 2015, if you take it from 2006 mm -hmm. to 2015, within the period of 10 years, LPG consumption in Ghana was growing at an average rate of 16.16%. So what changed? Taxes, taxes, <laughs> taxes. But, but, we, but, but, we, but then we, the government we, brought in that government, cylinder recirculation <laughs> policy. That was a non <laughs> that, that was that was a, a, No, the policy, we have no issue with the policy. Okay. We have issues with the policy, but we are on the table with MPA trying to shape up the policy. What is your the concern with the, 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 the cons Because I can take my gas cylinder, Duncan can bring his... You, Gabby, can bring yours. We yes. all go, yes. drop it there, pick another, yes. another cylinder, invert, and take it home. Invert. That's we, convenient. In fact, in, we <laughs> opposed the policy initially. Mm. Because, not because we, are, we are not opposing the policy per se, okay. but the mode of implementation okay. was our problem. Okay. But eventually, we were spoken to, mm. and good counsel prevailed. Mm. And we are, at the moment, we are very cool with MPH. Where, where are we now with that policy? Uh, I wish you could have thrown that question to, 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 to <laughs> MPA. The implementers and promoters. Yes, they, they have the table with them. Yeah, so yes, yes, you, yes. You but, should be able to tell me, they, 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 they have the friends. They have, oh, they are my very good friends. They are, have very good friends in there. Okay. They have the responsibility. I don't want to take the, the, the win out of their, their, their mouth. They and, are, are you responsible. happy with the progress that's been made so far? Oh, so far, so good. We've made some progress, but okay. there is still a lot to be done. Like what? 
Johnny, <laughs> if you want to go, <laughs> if you want us to go into cylinder recirculation, we will not even tackle. Oh, oh, we will no, 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 finish. I'm just asking <laughs> one question. <laughs> like what? <laughs> your top, your, your, your most prior, priority area. We, we, uh, okay, basically where we've got into, I think we, we, MPA did a pilot mm. at Kedi and, 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 and Obuasi. Mm. Uh, we believe there are certain fundamentals okay. that needs to be put in place mm. before we even talk about pilots. Okay. So uh, we, I mean, the pilot, the launch was successful, mm. but post post pilot, nothing nothing is really happening on the ground. Really. We will advise that we go back onto the drawing board, and some of the initial advices that we gave mm. that were not taken. I think we can really look at all those things. Okay. We are prepared to cooperate fully with MPA on this. Okay. But, uh, I mean, when we are calling for, 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 for a removal of taxes, okay. there is no way we can reconcile ourselves with an introduction of a new tax. So that 13.5 was a non starter but, but, but the taxes are introduced after consultations with you. No. Or this particular one was not done with no. you. No, no. We, 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 we had our position mm. at, the, at the committee. We had a position on how to raise ve revenue to fund this, 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 this government agenda. Mm. And even though, let me admit, mm. that the idea of additional tax was mm. raised at the committee, but we kicked against it okay. and said that's not the way to so go. So you were surprised when the tax was introduced? We were surprised. We were surprised. Do you fear that the tax will be reintroduced? Johnny... The again, LPG again. Marketing mm. Companies Association of Ghana mm. will do everything, whatever it takes, to ensure that there is no additional taxes. You don't have power more than government. Well, the government, government can, can act, but can, well, we can also react to government. I mean, government saw reason in uh, argument. Mm. That is okay. why the, 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 the sector minister had to withdraw. You were stampeding government. No, we were not. We were not. We didn't do anything. What did we do? Did we go on strike? You told, what did the, we do? you told the citizens of Ghana that this would affect you so much. And that is the truth. Is it not the truth? If they, if they increase, I don't know, maybe you are a big man. So you... you, know. you. Don't, <laughs> don't, set me up. don't set me up for my debt. So, so, we'll we'll take a break here. <laughs> when we return, <laughs> we'll have that conversation with Duncan Amoa and uh, Gabi Kumi also. Uh, we're talking about the pricing quality uh, and affordability and, and availability of LPG gas downstream. Stay with us. This Hot Issues will be right back after the break. To Hot Issues, my name is Johnny. His many thanks to Grandpa for my outfit tonight. Tonight, also, my guest is uh, Dan Kanamwa, is the Executive Director of COPEC, and also Co uh, Gabi Kumi. He's the Vice Chairman of the LPG Marketing uh, Companies Association of Ghana. Before the break, we we're talking about quality and accessibility, and we we're talking about the gas recirculation and all of that. Duncan, you made a very instructive point. You know, I thought that we should raise that quickly and uh, get into Ghana gas issues. You are talking about the recirculation policy, and you raise an instructive point. Re echo that. You see, Johnny, um, cylinder recirculation should work, but the model and the mode of implementation would have to be tweaked and tinkered. Which is? Uh, you don't just push a policy mm. on assumption that uh, only the rich, mm. right? will be able to afford your pre-filled bottles. Okay. There are quite poor persons amongst us, some of whom are often able to just purchase 10 Ghana cities or 15 or 20 cities at a time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Some even would go as low as seven cities. So if you do have a policy that says, I'm going to pre-fill these bottles mm -hmm. and supply them to vantage points, mm -hmm. you only go and deposit your, your empty bottles and pick a new bottle. Right. If the pre-filled is at 80 Ghana cities, mm -hmm. I must necessarily have the 80 Ghana cities mm. to pick a new one. Mm. I cannot go and say I'm picking 20 cities because the bottle is already predetermined mm. by way of pricing. So we need to tinker and tweak that a little more. Okay. And then again, to bring it to Ghana gas, mm. you do have gas in abundance. Mm. Uh, one of the key things you do when you decide to explore oil mm -hmm is that there's always the gas that, that you, that you, you probably pick out even okay. before you get to crude itself. Right. And so for most countries, they plan for the gas. And the gas is even huge. Did we do that? Well, I don't think we did. But it's even bigger, an industry, than the hydrocarbons itself. Money? 
Well, up to a point, we needed to flare. We flared for quite a long time before Ghana gas came on stream, I mean, to hold and process gas. Has it improved? Now, our expectation would have been that Ghana gas will process and, and make gas quite, quite cheap for doing? Ghanaians. Uh, I do not think that as a body corporate, mm. right, we are seeing the kind of lower prices that Ghana Gas should have helped uh, these operators okay. to give to Ghanaians. Mm. Like Gabi has said, if LPG is so affordable and quite cheaper, then the rural folks will be a lot more encouraged to use it. Okay. For some people, charcoal, two cities, mm. he could use that for three, four days. Mm. But can he get LPG for two cities? That might be difficult. So we need to think carefully. Okay. And Ghana Gas would need to set up, mm. if you ask me, and ensure are that whatever... I do not think that they are working hard enough. Although the local partners mm. that uh, we have seen seem to also be doing their bit to help, mm. Ghana Gas itself would have to ensure that the prices you put out there... Because if you don't put these uh, uh, the LPG or LNG out, out, you have to flare it. Okay. Gabby, step in for me. He's trying to speak for you. I'm sure. I'm, sp I'm speaking for the, 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 the people out there. Out there. Gabby, when we have issues with them, we'll attack we attack. We'll let's talk to them. <laughs> let's but but Gabby, Gabby the, there are concerns about the quality. <laughs> Ghana Gas has come up strongly mm -hmm. that the quality is standard. You're talking about 70% propane. They say, keep quiet because what we are giving you is good. Also, Bempai, you heard him. What do you say? Johnny. Uh, I think we should look at this issue very, very, very dispassionately, mm. devoid of emotions. And, and at the end of the day, uh, uh, it's about the consumer mm. and it's about Ghanaians. Uh, every Ghanaian uses the LPG at home, That's including right. Ozu Bempa and Ghana Gas uh, staff. Mm. So it's, it's in our own interest, it's mm. in the general interest of Ghanaians mm -hmm. for us to ensure that Ghana Gas turns out very good quality LPG onto the market. Mm -hmm. So we can minimize things like explosions and other things mm -hmm. that we are having in our communities. Mm -hmm. Pro before Ghana gas came on stream, mm -hmm. all the LPG we consumed in Ghana were imported. And these <coughs> imports met the international standard of 70% butane and 30% propane. Right. When Ghana gas came on stream, mm -hmm. You can, you can do a survey, you can do a research on what I'm saying. Because our system, our equipment had been conditioned mm. to take that kind of gas, that is the, uh, the higher propane, the, the higher propane. propane mm -hmm. gas. Mm -hmm. But because Ghana gas was churned out products which were very high in propane, propane. Okay. all our equipment were getting destroyed in our stations. Now, how, how do you mean? So the investment that you had made as yes, marketers yes. were getting destroyed because of the quality you were because getting from of the Ghana quality, gas. Because, because, because you were used to higher butane, lower right. propane. That's right. Now you're getting higher propane, yes. lower butane. Yes. Okay. And now, if you take equipment like a dispenser, mm. formally, when you buy a dispenser into your station and you, you, you maintain it, mm. you give it regular servicing, mm. you can keep these dispensers for four, five, six years. Mm. Now you buy a dispenser, and because the dispensers were not conditioned mm. to take more propane, and you are giving it, you are feeding it with propane, one year, two years, and you have to replace your dispenser. That's cost to you. High cost to us. You see, what we are, what we are saying, this is not an attempt. Have you told to, Ghana to, Gas this, what you're telling me now? We have. We have what had, have they been saying we, to we you? We have had a lot of informal discussion from the Association of Oil Marketing mm. Companies. We've written letters, and there are a lot of discussions. What have they been telling you? Uh, they keep telling us they will improve mm. on the quality of the product, but as I speak to you now, we are still battling with that same quality. Mm. Look, this is not an attempt to cast a slur on Ghana Gas. Mm. Ghana Gas is our own, it's for you, it's for me. Mm. It's in our own interest to make sure that that company succeeds. Okay. But at the same time, when there are issues and we are, we are raising, they shouldn't see that as an attempt to bring their company is down. That, is that what you think they're doing? Yes. If you look at the response their communication director gave to COPEX's uh, 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 press release, mm. 
it's, it, insulting. It, it, it was Completely so insulting. insulting. He was insulting. Duncan, you are nodding to this one, and um, I'll take your final word on this one. You are, you certainly are disappointed, aren't you? Ghana guys should be a game changer. Um, whatever issues they have, mm. it comes down to the consumer eventually because mm. they are between Ghana guys and us. Right. So if they have issues, we would expect that it be addressed. Um, just a week or two ago, we had another you know reminder with mm. them. Mm that they were having certain complaints. That has not been addressed. And again, like he said, these issues will come to the fore for discussion, not because anybody hates Ghana gas, mm. but again, if they improve. Mm. And not also because they may be doing absolutely wrong stuff. Mm. But like he mentioned, if previously you had 80 butane, 20 uh, propane, mm. and now you get 40 propane mm. and 60 uh, butane, butane, it may not be off spec or bad yes. or contaminated yes. but clearly there's a lot more propane and propane comes with a higher pressure but you have you have a platform that you discuss these things with them is it but as to whether they are even willing to sit and say that this is what is happening and mm. whatever cost or what i mean there should be a dialogue what, a should, way, what should be a take home 30 seconds 30 seconds what should be a take home um we would want ghana guys to be a game changer mm. they would be able to help Ghanaian um, lpg consumers move further mm. without these usual complaints. We would want to see some improvement with them. How soon? Uh, if they give us by close of week, I'm sure Ghanaians will be far happier. If there's a way to reduce the propane content, let them go ahead. If there's also no way to reduce it, let Ghana Gas take it upon itself to educate the public and even the industry a lot more mm. so that if I have a container that is not propane, I mean, friendly, mm. or I have a valve that is not able to take that kind of a pressure, mm. uh, I should be able to know which kind of valve to go for, okay. which kind of a container to go for. Without the education and so this you don't banter endanger and insults, yourself. so we don't endanger each other. Uh, Gabi, Journey. your takeaway, what, what, what should be the way forward? I mean, Ghana guys should take this in good faith. Mm. And they should see this as a constructive criticism and go back and let's do the right thing. Mm. It's, it's, we, we, we even wish that the the LPG we are importing into the country mm. uh, is not necessary. At the end, every month, the, the BDCs carry a lot of foreign, for, foreign money, carry mm. a lot of dollars, mm. and import LPG into the country. Mm. If Ghana gas could be positioned mm -hmm. to produce enough LPG to feed the whole country so that we to stop this import, so that all this money we are taking out mm. Could, 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 could come into the country, I think it will be, it'll be good for okay. all of us. But uh, in as much as we would like to support them, mm. we will also continue to draw atten their attention to some of the flaws okay. in, 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 in their, in their work. Many thanks indeed. Our time is up. Uh, unfortunately, gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Duncan Amwan is the Executive Director of the COPEC and also Gabi Kumi is the Vice Chairman of the LPG Marketing Association of Ghana. We've been talking about the state of LPG downstream and you've been hearing for pain, Britain. Don't be scared. We're just talking about your safety at home and uh, quality and affordability and availability. Martin Asiedu Date is ready with news at 10. Stay with us on TV3. Thank you for watching.